Hi there, welcome to my tutu with Teacher Brian. Hi po. 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 Hi there, welcome to our new video on mean and variance of a sampling distribution. So, sana matuto kayo sa video na to. So, let's start. Okay. So, kagaya ng mga ginawa natin sa mga previews natin ng mga activities on different kinds of distributions. So, hahanapin din natin, of course, si mean, si variance, at si standard deviation ng sampling distribution ng mga sample means. Alright? So, Actually, hindi siya naiiba sa proseso noong mga nakaraan nating mga videos. So, we're just going to mind the symbols, right? So, in order for us to further understand the meaning of those formula, we're going to have an example, okay? Consider a population consisting of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Suppose samples of size 2 are drawn from this population, find the mean and variance of the sampling distribution. So, in this particular example, we have five sample size, right? So, meron tayong five sample size, and I mean population size, and then we have, we are asked, no, to get samples of size 2. Okay? So, Doon tayo magbe-base in order to get the mean and the variance of the sampling distribution. Step number one. Okay? So, para mas madali, niligyan ko siya ng step-by-step -step procedure. So, step number one, we're going to compute the mean of the population. Mean of the population. Okay? Or the population mean. Okay? How to compute for that? So, we have this formula. Okay? Population mean is equal to summation of all scores over n. Okay? So, we have now 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. Those are the scores. So, we're going to get the sum of that, which is um, um, over 5, right? Then, we have 3 now, okay? So, we have now our population mean, which is 3. And then, of course, after that, we're going to compute for the population variance, okay? So, how to compute for the population variance? So, first things first, remember this uh, columns that we have uh, discussed in the previous videos. So, we're just going to do the same for the scores, right? So, we have now 1 to 5. Those are the scores. And then, we're going to get our x minus the population mean. We have negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. And then, if we square this, we're going to get this column, all right? So, what are we going to do next? Remember that the formula for the variance is this. Okay? Summation of x minus mean square over n. So, ang gagawin natin, we have to get the sum of this column, which is, in this case, 10. And then we'll have now 10 over 5 because 5 is our population size. And then that will be equal to 2. Now, we already have the mean of the population, which is 3, and the variance of the population, which is 2. Now, we're going to proceed to step number 3. Determine the number of possible samples. In the previous videos, natutunan natin in order to get the number of possible samples from this kind of problem, we're going to use the combination formula. Okay? So... Kunin na mga calculator para mas maging madali. So, kapag in-input natin siya sa calculator, so, we'll have 5C2, which is 10. Ibig sabihin, meron tayong 10 combinations na hinahanap from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on a sample size of 2. Okay? So, we have now, kapag nilist na natin yung possible means, kagaya ng mga ginawa natin sa nakaraang video, so, hahanapin natin yung sample size nito na ang size ay 2. So, we have now the first one is 1, 2. The next one is 1, 3. And then 1, 4. And then 1, 5. Okay? 
Now proceed to the next. Kasi yun yung magandang pattern. So iniisa-isa mo siya. So we have now 2, 3. We already have 5, ha? 2, 3. And then 2, 4. And then 2, 5. We have already 7. And then you start with 3 now. 3, 4. And then 3, 5. And then we have now on our last, the 10th. We have 4, 5. Okay? So these are all the outcomes. So after that, we're going to get the mean of each samples. Alright? So kagaya ng sinabi ko, kailangan nating alamin kung meron bang umulit sa kanila. Okay? So para malaman natin yun, so iisa-isahin natin sila. So gagawa ulit tayo ng isang table which is the frequency distribution. Or the sampling distribution of the sample means itself. Okay, so after that, so we have now the frequency. So this is frequency. So 1.5 is 1. Kung titignan natin si 2.5, si 3, at si 3.5 ay nag-repeat twice. So balikan natin yung table kanina. Tignan natin kung totoong nag-repeat siya ng twice. Si 2.5, dalawa sila. So ganun lang, so bibilangin mo lang ilang beses lumitaw yung specific mean na yun. Okay? Para makuha mo itong table na ito. Okay. So, after you get this table, so we have now the frequency. We're going to get the probability. At sabi ko nga doon sa mga nakaraang video, ang gagawin niyo lang, frequency divided by the total. Okay? So, it is 1 over 10, and then 1 over 10, 2 over 10, 2 over 10, 2 over 10, which are all 1 fifth. So, we have now 1 over 10 and then 1 over 10. Alright? So, we have now this probability. Ito po yung mga importanting parts ng ating sampling distribution of the sample means. Bakit? Kasi when we compute the mean, which is the step number 6 of the sampling distribution of the sample means, we need to use those elements or those uh, columns. So, Kagaya lang ng mga ginagawa natin, if we have this uh, probability and the sample mean, nakalagay naman dito sa formula, the next one to do is mean or the population mean or the sampling uh, or sample means times the probability. Okay? Sample means times the probability. So, we have now, pag inisa-isa natin siya, so 1.5 times 1 over 10 is 0 0.15. 2 times 1 over 10 is 0 0.2, and so on. Okay? So, ganun lang yung ating gagawin para mas maging madali yung ating pagkuha ng mean and variance of the sampling distribution of sample means. Alright, so now, in getting the sum of this, since we have a sigma notation here, so the mean is 3. Alright? So, we have now the mean, so it's time for us to get the variance of the sampling distribution of the sample means. So, now, we already have our population mean, which is 3. The variance of the, of the population is 2. And then, the mean of the sampling distribution of the sample means, we have 3. Now, after that, we're going to get the variance. So, paano ba natin siya kukunin? Okay? So, Remember that we have this because our formula is um, summation of P of X times the square of X minus population mean. Now, so una natin gagawin, syempre, ay isasubtract natin si population mean kay sample mean. Okay? So we have now this and then we square it and then we multiply it with the probability. So, ganito lang siya mangyayari. So, what? If we're going to subtract the population mean from our sample here, sample mean here, so our answer is negative 1.5. And then 3, this is 3, right? So 2 minus 3 is negative 1. And then 2.5 minus 3 is negative 0 0.5. And if we're going to continue that, we're going to get this. Okay? So, after doing this, syempre, tingin ulit tayo sa formula, we're going to get the square of this column. 
right? So we get that square, we're going to get this numbers. So negative 1.5 square is 2.25. And then we have negative 1 square is 1. And then negative 0 0.5 is 0 0.25. And then 0 and squared is 0. And so on. All right. So the next thing that we're going to do from this formula again, we're going to multiply the P of X or the probability. So we have this. Okay. So 2.25 times 1 over 10 is 0 0.225. 1 times 1 over 10 is 0 0.100 and so on. So the next thing that we're going to do is to get the sum since we have a sigma here or a summation notation. So getting the sum would give us 0 0.75, which means that our variance is 0 0.75. All right. So ngayon meron na tayong mean, um, I mean population mean, population variance, mean of the sampling, distribution of sample means, and its um, variance. So, sana natuto ka sa video na to at masagutan mo yung mga dapat mong masagutan and I hope it helped you. So, see you in the next video. Bye-bye!